and I'm out. And other people would just let them be out. He throw a temper tantrum, I'm a victim. I'm a victim. Right? I could just read through that. Right? So I'm like, no, what what does he need right now? He needs me to be direct, but he also needs me to be aware of his emotional needs without emasculating him. So I just said, yeah. I said, let's do this. Let's do it. Just meet for 10 minutes. Your daughter was coming to see you. I know you're tired. You don't got to stay. But let's do this. Let her have dinner with you. Once you get done with dinner, I take her back out, and then we leave. She's satisfied. You're satisfied. And I'm not going to make him stay longer. Even though I want him to stay longer, but I'm like, you know what? This is all he can handle at this moment because he's frustrated. And so now he's like, yo, I trust them. They care about me. So next time, if I'm not there, Marissa can be like, hey, blah, 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 blah. He's like, okay, I'll listen. Right? So it goes back to who do they need us to be in this moment? So he need to be, my D needed to come up. Because in times past, I'd be like, all right, you straight, man. You know what? We cancel it. I just call them and say they don't got to come. But mine was deliberate. I was D. I took action. But I just did it in a milder way. Then a high D, like, yo, no, nah, man, you can't do that. And I can even see Arian doing that. Just like, yo, you need to do A, B, C, and D. Right? So it's important for us to be aware of each of those moments. Making sense? Mm -hmm. 